Hello everybody, Good Buddy Q here, here with 48 hours. Doing a lot of romance games lately, but that's just me. I've been meaning to play this for like five ever. It's about Germany. That's all I got. Well, let's go. Ha, do do do. Oh, it's a boo. Uh, oh, 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 two seconds in, and you've already gotten me. It's good. He's trying to find a date. Oh, you sweet. Ooh. What the fuck? He looks like he's seen a ghost. <laughs> spider! 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 Ah, it's a spider. <sighs> Germany, you can call out sick from this world meeting right now. You can save yourself a migraine. Please. Yes. Please, walk away. <sighs> I just can't. I would feel guilty if I didn't subject myself to the same train wreck that everyone else has to endure. Alright. Oh, no. Hi there! Oh, no, they're stuck on the wall. Quick question! Did you happen to see a lady walk by, about three feet tall, pitch black with orange markings, arachnid type? Out in the hallway. Thanks! Lucy, you crazy Sheila, stop chasing Uncle Z! You crazy Sheila. Oh, oh my god. I like it already. What's up, Cuba? I assume this bottle was that glass I had. Animal Crossing! I love it! Assume this- Sorry, I love it. I assume this bottle was a glass shattering I heard earlier. Just Cuba then. Eh. Eh. This is a sign-in sheet. I'll need this to check in whose attendance right before the meeting. Yeah. On the computer. Liechtenstein. No, you good? You good? You alright? Finland and Ecuador seem to be expecting the vibes Lucy left behind. Uh, I can only imagine that what terror she caused. Note to self, adjust the World Conference conduct, conduct regulations to prohibit human-sized tarantulas. Good god. How you doing? Hi, America. Sup, dude? Hello, America. You didn't- you didn't answer my question. What, what question? Sup? Not much, the usual, I guess. Nope! Wrong! Sup means what is up. Look up. What do you see? Uh, the ceiling? Uh, Austria over there? Belgium on the wall? Fire's over there! <laughs> ceiling, are you okay? <laughs> Made you look. Oh, he's such an idiot. Hey, is that a little smile I see? <laughs> I'll be it a likable one. Door. You're right. Austria, why are you up there? If you must know, I'm hiding from that horrific beast. The spider's gone. It just ran into the room. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You're gonna come down now. For the time being, I would prefer to stay up here, where it's safe and a hundred percent spider-free. What's the thing next to you on the shelf then? <gasps> Spider! Dead. I will stay for the meeting, where it is at least 85% spider-free. Humph. Uh, as long as he's in attendance, that is all that matters. You're both alright. <laughs> Belgium is trying to untangle Netherlands from the spider vibes. Incredible. From the looks of it, he's not coming unstuck from there anytime soon. What's up? Good morning, Romano. Fuck you. I'd be concerned if he didn't greet me with his usual hostility. How are you doing? Dad, angry. Also, why do you care? I just wanted to know how things are going with you. Or is it something fucking weird, German tactic? You're not going to use that information against me, are you? Hmm? No! I don't even know how I can use the fact that you're tired or hungry to my advantage. 
Even if I wanted to. You'd find a way. You'd probably leave a trail of a clean <laughs> scene for me to follow. And then the trail leads to a bed. <laughs> and then the bed is full of a bunch of fucking hornets. He has a hatred for many people, but he seems to have a, some special kind of hatred for me. I don't hate him, though. He's hardworking when he chooses to be. He doesn't care what other people say. I'll leave you on alone now. Good. Fucker. Konnichiwa, Deutsche. Hello, Japan. Are you doing well today? I sense that you're distressed. You have uh, distressing auras vibing off of you. Are you okay? Yes. Usually you can tell if I'm stressed. He likes to read the room. I understand how stressful these meetings are. Especially for you. I can prepare you some herbal tea during our lunch break if you would like. Hopefully that will reduce your stress. <sighs> Thank you, Japan. Honestly. Japan is one of my closest friends. He's a polite and caring person. Hello, Germany. Good morning, England. Oh, I don't get a good. There's not much good about this morning. My, my, broody today, are we? Have you finally cracked? Have you joined the cynical dark side? Maybe. What would that entail? As a king of cynicism, I can tell you we are quite fun. We have a club meeting where we drink black coffee and discuss how much we hate people. We also use a lot of sarcasm. Not sure if that's your cup of tea. Try not to go insane today, yes? No promises. He's such a pessimist. Though, he's more charming than annoyance. Breviate Romania! Hello, Russia. If you are wondering what all the commotion was before you got in here, it seems Australia brought along an authorized friend. I'm aware of the situation. I will make sure there are no more giant spiders brought to meetings. She was fine. The weak people in her way with the problem. I suggest we ban them instead. <laughs> so good. You know we can't do that, Russia. I'm sorry, I keep fucking with these lines. It's so good. I know, but I would prefer having her because she is cute and does not make me want to hit someone with a blunt object. Anyways, I know you were preparing to start the meeting, so I'm not hold you up any longer. <laughs> I see, he's not going to be one of our freaking suitors, I see. Bonjour, Animo. I assume you're ready to whip everyone, Toshi? <sighs> I suppose. Hmm. You don't seem as uh, self assured and assertive as usual. I just don't have it in me today. Maybe you'll feel better if you go with some beautiful women. I highly doubt that. I'm gay. Oh, yeah. Oh, is there something I was supposed to tell you? Maybe some good news? Please? Spain told me to tell you it'd be late. Damn it. Great. Can be bothered to send me an email. On top of that, there's a giant arachnid running loose in the building. And there's Alima, calm down. This meeting won't be any more pleasant if you're working yourself up over these small things. A giant spider is not a fucking small thing! That spider was anything but small. I meant metaphorically. Still pretty significant. Just chill out. You won't get anything done if you're stressed or brooding about something. I suppose you're right. I'm always right. He's got such an ego. That's part of the allure of him, I guess. Loving all these ships! What the hell happened to you, kid? Hello, Mr. Germany! Nice seeing a fellow nation here! Oh, he's wearing a mustache and glasses! <laughs> Hello? I don't believe we've met. What? Well, of course we have! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm Mr. Schlebli Bupul von Bookshelf Land. Schlebli von Bookshelf Land. Yes! Interesting. I got an email from Schlebli, <laughs> Schlebli Bupul von Bookshelf Land saying he couldn't make it to the meeting because he was at the floor. Um! I got better! See what he's on to us! And did Mr. Bookshuffland bring some friends to hide under the table? No! Ow! Be careful, Saborga. That's the third time you've hit your head on that table! 
that I told you. <laughs> I told you I'm dull and it's hard not to knock my head on things. All of you, come out. There's no use in hiding when I know you're here. <laughs> oh, there they are. Uh, the micronations. Oh, come on. How'd you figure it out? Wow, the monocle was a nice touch. You're still wearing your sailor uniform. Are we in trouble now? No. You're not going to yell at us or something. I don't have the energy to scold you right now. Could you please go? We have a meeting to start. What? You seem mentally and physically tired. Out of respect, we will comply. All right. I guess it's next time. Follow me, comrades. I told you this wouldn't work. We need a better strategy next time. Maybe we sh we can wear lampshades to disguise as the lamps. Or we could hide in the ceiling. Good on you, Hut. <sighs> okay, we good. What's up, China? Ni hao! What are you doing, Germany? I was just checking in on you. How are you doing, Val? Nah, it's too loud in here. All the nations are talking at once. Not to mention that scream earlier. I find it headache inducing. Oh, you and me balls. Nah, oh, come on. Who would just leave a fire here unattended? Luckily, someone left a bottle of soda on the table. Maybe this can put it out? Oh, there we go. Solved. Belarus is browsing the books on the shelves. Best not to disturb her. Oof. What's up? Seychelles. Looks like Seychelles is taking a photo for India and Thailand. Ah. They always need a photo to commemorate the meeting. Not sure why, but as long as they actually attend the meetings, I don't mind. Okay. I won't get in their way. Aw. Look at them go. They're so cute. Pressure. Iceland and Hong Kong are playing together on their computers. Their automatic sugarcane farm looks really inefficient. They should really rework their redstone circuitry if they want the maximum output. <laughs> Good. This is why you're single, Germany. Oh. Hi, Canada. Oh, they're fighting. Ugh, seems like they're arguing. Nice fangs, Romania. What dollar store did you get there from? You're so stupid hungry. My fangs are real. You just bring this stupid jackass. What was that? I'm sorry. Don't speak Brock. I'll have you know that the gentle upkeep of these fangs costs more than your entire country. I also don't speak badly, idiot. <laughs> you have to find me a translator. Very funny. You'll be laughing when I put a hex on your stove. Oh, sure, you'll do that. Then you'll tell me when that stupid wizard jacket comes in some wizard cloak. It's not just some ugly fashion choice. You think so? I don't know, Hungry. I think I can do magic just fine without a special cloak. <laughs> Why, you little... Please, no pyrotechnics. I'd rather not have a horrible accident occur today. <sighs> Sorry, Germany. And please, keep any punching, throttling, or bludgeoning to a minimum. I'll be hard to send people in this meeting room, but I'll do my best. I prefer to not have any fights break out during this meeting today. Never said I couldn't push you out the window. He also never prohibited hitting you with a chair. Oof. You alright? You, you good? Can I play with you? No? Alright. No talking to Canada. None allowed. Italy definitely cooks this. The critical flaw in holding these meetings in the US is that it's really hard to find a t authentic Italian food. <sighs> I'm not surprised Italy left a cooked meal at his assigned seat. He's probably going to be late, knowing him. He's probably sleeping in. But... Fire his lunch and brother here, but not him. Romano, where's Italy? I don't fucking know. Probably I'm doing something stupid. As he does. You alright down there? 
Yeah, you're fine. Okay, is there anything else I can do? Because I don't know how to start the meeting. Okay. Oh, Switzerland. He's tending to the flowers. Let me travel to tell him if he's extremely calm or in deep concentration. Good morning, Switzerland. <laughs> I think speaking to him broke his focus. He just completely pruned a healthy rose. I'd better leave him alone before I mess up any more flowers. Oof. Where is Italy? Do I gotta leave? <laughs> Okay, I can't leave this room. Hello. Is there anyone else I can talk to? Okay. Yeah, I talked to him. Hmm. It's still on fucking fire. Eh, where do I go? Ah, I can walk on the table. Canada. Canada. Can't. Can't. Canada. Okay. Eh, what am I missing? I better start this meeting before someone spontaneously combusts. <sighs> I'm expecting many interruptions and his arguments as such. So starting soon as possible is preferable to not make the meeting overly long. Before the meeting starts, I need to check the sign-in sheets to make sure everyone's here. Let's see. Spain hasn't signed in, but France said he would be late. Luxembourg had an incident with his dog, so he's excused. Isley isn't here, and I have no clue where he is. So I want to avoid starting too late, so I'll just start without him. Everyone, please take your seats. We have a call this for a conference to order at 9.15. We'll be discussing several topics of great importance today, starting with the issue of the natural environment. We'll begin with pollution and other threats to aquatic life. We must find solutions to the elevated levels of toxic chemicals and microplastics in the ocean. Are there any suggestions on how we should solve these issues? I was able to say an entire state of it without being interrupted by something stupid. Maybe this meeting won't be so bad. I think we should... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Everyone remain calm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was fucked up. So, what did they say? They said they'll try the blowtorch if the pruning shears won't do <laughs> won't work in getting it down. About the explosion, Russia. Ooh, Cupid in Canada went off that way. I wonder what they're up to. Oh, yes. So, apparently a chemical leak inside the building during the explosion. There was also a chemical leak, yes. The chemical is apparently very dangerous if exposed to it. The symptoms are quite severe. Like what? It starts with mild chills. C Crikey! Did you just get cold out here? Sudden blindness? Let everybody go! Like, everything is like a colorless void? Ow! And then, spontaneous combustion! <laughs> <laughs> and what else? I'm sorry, I can't fucking keep it together. Sunny and comatose! But <laughs> and after 48 hours, those symptoms will go away. Oh, that's good. Because then you will experience death. What I'm saying is that anyone exposed to it has 48 hours to live. 
which is everyone here. Hold on! We need to think about this critically! There's been some kind of fatal chemical leak all of a sudden? That seems odd. The most sensible thing we can do is... PANIC! Ugh. Goddamn idiots. <laughs> oh God. I'm out of here. Hey there, Germany! Sorry I'm late. One time I went lunch and brought in the meeting room. I got tired, so I went back to the home and took a nap. Oh, it's seven outside. Are we having a super cool outdoor dog picnic meeting? No, we're not. What's wrong? You seem bummed. Apparently, we all have 48 hours to live. Oh my god! That's horrible, Germany! I, I can't believe you're all going to die! Frankly, I can't either. I think China was onto something. Maybe I should investigate this more critically. Hey, do you mind if I show you something? Show me something. I don't think this is the best time, Italy. I promise it'll make you feel better. I guess I have nothing to lose at this point. Anyways. Follow me. There. A tree house. There's more to it than that. Come on inside. Okay. Really spooky. Let's go in the tree house. Go up, yeah. <gasps> it's fully furnished in here. I think it's air conditioned as well. This is extremely confusing. Italy, what is this? I have a question for you that I'd like to ask as a friend. You don't want to die with any regrets, right? I swear to God. If this is about human sacrifice, that's a rather blunt question. It's true, though, right? I've barely processed my own mortality, literally, let alone the implication that I may eventually die with regret. But isn't there something specific you still want to do? Uh, Sorry, <laughs> I must be confusing you. Let me start over. I like to help people. I especially like to help my friends. I like to help people with other people. So I've started a business! How is this related at all? It's related, trust me. But before I continue, I'd really like to get my associate in here. I don't know when he is, though. From my dirtiness, it was hard to escape the world meeting area with the panicked crowd and all. Hello! What the fuck? Yeah, just in time! I'm just explaining our new project! You're hardly explaining anything, Italy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, just I'm, I'm replaying that fucking window dive in my brain. It's not a difficult concept. Matchmaking and dating advice are simple to explain. So you two are matchmaking. Yes. Couldn't you have just said that, Italy? You can't just outright what you're planning to do. You have to open up with a rhetorical question to capture the audience. It's all about the presentation. No offense to you and your uh, business, but why do I care about a dating service? Come on, you know why. I don't. Yes, you do. No, I, I don't. We've been noticing things. You seem really lonely. I have no idea what you're talking about. You can't hide this from us, especially me. Do you really think a lonely person can't recognize another lonely person, Germany? Hmm? <laughs> Not to mention the dating app. Only really desperate people use those. Uh, uh, how did you know about that? We're best friends. Why wouldn't I know about it? Okay. But what's your point here? We want to help you get the little uh, snuggle pail. A BF. I don't know about that. You've been looking for one anyways. Why not get some help? It won't work. Trust me. 
Don't you want to achieve something big in your last two days? I'd rather not have my last memory on Earth be a painful romantic rejection. If you don't want our help, that's perfectly fine. You can refuse our offer and you will be free to go. We will not bother you again. But if you accept, we will give you a consultation and help set up a date for you. Uh, but you will be wise to choose the latter, but that is just my opinion. If you are content spending your last 48 hours alone, that is perfectly fine. But if your final moments are filled with regret, it will be not to be our fault. I suppose I have been lonely for quite a while. But where would he want these two trying to plan out my love life? I guess I have a choice to make. So, what do you say? Yeah. Ugh. Okay, fine. Yay! Now that you have agreed, we can begin our process. Please, take a seat. Normally, we'd have to schedule an appointment for your consultation in which we'd have to discuss your issues and give you advice. But I'm sure you'll be fine with having our consultation now, given your limited time on this earth. And you also get the friend discount, so that's good. What do you mean? We're a small business. A business needs payment in order to survive. So you're pressuring me into having help you, and then you charge me. We need to stay afloat somehow. Do you know how much it is to rent this treehouse? And well, you know I'm better than anybody that I don't ever have money. <laughs> and it's a small price to pay for a lifetime of happiness, Germany. Fine, fine. All I have on me is 50 euros and a frozen yogurt punch card, though. That'll do. Thanks, I'll make sure to enter this in the box. Wait, what? You're handling the financials of this business? Yeah, I'm the accountant. No offense, but you're not the most financially literate person. Don't worry about it, Germany. I am capable. Trust me. What about the time you impulse bought those $800 platform crocs and couldn't afford groceries for two months? Uh. Remember all those times you messed up your tax returns and I had to spend hours correcting them? It wasn't that bad. It really was that bad. There were so many errors, it seemed less like an incompetence and more like intentional fraud. I would never connect tax fraud, Germany. Uh. He volunteered to manage the books. I trust Ethan Lee. Especially because he knows if we run out of money because he messed up the numbers, I could easily make him into a nice rug. Yeah, what do you say? Anyways, you're distracting us from your consultation. You have a limited time before you become a lifeless husk. We don't have time to waste here at I had did dating services. Is is that your company name? Yes. Is that your official name? Yep. I don't think you really thought that name through, though. What's wrong with it? You're distracting from the issue again, Germany! Why do you think that is? I'm wondering why you picked such an odd name. Are you sure you're trying to divert your attention from the issue at hand? If you don't mind, I would like to state an observation. You seem to be stalling in order to avoid talking about your love life. You're using a dating app, so you are trying to expedite the process of finding a significant other. May I ask, how many matches have you made on there? Uh... None. Got it. Earlier you mentioned you didn't want the last thing you experienced to be romantic rejection. Are you afraid of confronting love head on? Are you afraid of rejection? Uh. Your silence is telling. I've been able to deduce your problem. You are afraid of confronting romance, especially because of past experiences related to rejection or awkward results. <coughs> you see, fear is not the good reason to do something. The best way to confront it is to not be afraid. Oh, he's talking about Bonson Valentino! No fucking wonder! <laughs> it's not that easy, Russia. Most fears are unfounded. It's easier than you, than you are letting yourself believe it is. My fears aren't unfounded. At this point, my fears come from knowing that finding someone would be impossible. So what you're saying is, you are afraid because it is impossible be to find a successful date? If you face the issue head on, there's at least a chance that the thing you think is impossible will happen. 
A wise person once said that courage is the key to unlocking the impossible. Who says that? Me! Just now! I am very wise. You do understand where I'm coming from. So, you're saying that I need to tell myself it's possible if I want it to happen? Yeah, now you're getting it. Yes, don't say finding love is impossible. If you do, I will have to smack you. <sighs> Understood. I guess I should try to think positive. If I allow myself to get disheartened, I'll scale myself into submission. Now that we motivated you, we can get to the actual point of the consultation. The date. We will help you plan the day location, work out potential scenarios, and other things like that. That's the most important part. You can't have a date without a person to go on a date with. But meeting someone new on the first date isn't the best for guaranteeing you get a boyfriend. You need to be able to go on a date with someone you already know. You're a hunk, so there are plenty of people that you know that would kill to go on a date with you. Uh, are you sure? We are positive. We happen to have quite a bit of information regarding some nations that like you. Well, you've got the Latin and Mayas, you stud. Well, if you know them, can you tell me who they are? The ones we know are America, Japan, England, Romano, and France. Uh, uh, that's way more than I was expecting. Now that you know your realistic options, we would like to give you some time to think about who would you like to choose. Feel free to return once you are ready. Oh my god, we gotta go on several dates. I'm gonna go on a date with all of them! At least I'm gonna sure try anyway. But that'll be it for this episode. Next one, uh, first one. We just did a Japan game. So I'm gonna do Japan first. And then during, because hand-holding buddies. Yeah, that sounds good. Aces. Let's do this. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Mm, bye. Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> my heart's a, my cursor's a heart. Incredible. Mwah. Incredible. <laughs>